First off, I want to say RIP to two greats, okay? Norm Macdonald and Rodney Dangerfield. Um, I've been introduced to Norm Macdonald's comedy probably um, around a year ago on the channel. And I've been introduced to Rodney Dangerfield just here recently. Only checked out three of his videos up to this point. So I'm not trying to date this video, but those are the facts. So yeah, but oh my gracious I had to say, man, Roddy Dangerfield, I, that dude is bow, 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 joke after joke after joke after joke after joke. I love it. And so I'm here for more. But I do want to say this, though. Thank you so much to the seven people who decided to go to HatsForSale.com and purchase one of our hats. It feels great, man. Now, I do realize I have 500 and something thousand subscribers. And I was expecting to see more sales, but guess what? Seven is God's number. It's a lucky number, and I'll take that. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Anyone else who wants to go and purchase one, go to hasforsale.com, put in LFR10 for 10% off, and you get free shipping all over the United States of America. All right? Yeah. Yeah, that's something else, huh? What a crowd, what a crowd, what a crowd. You guys are great, I'll tell you that. I've been on a lot of shows, but there's no better crowd than you just right here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> You're a pro. You're a pro. You came out here, you lit this crowd up. I'm you... just telling the truth. You're the truth teller. You... I got a wife. I just you got a wife. I just got married because I thought uh, go through that charade, uh, keep appearances up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, the so, kind of thing you tell. If yeah. This were a memoir. Yeah, if, if this, this were a memoir. Right. If this were a memoir, I would tell about my wife. What a battle axe. <laughs> A I battle mean, axe? I mean, I, no I, one's called their wife a battle axe since 1945. Listen, listen, come. How do you feel about a woman? She's supposed to be my life partner. I look in the mirror the other day and I says to her, I says, honey, I look in the mirror and all I see is a fat, ugly old man. And I need you to give me a compliment. She says, all right then. Uh, your eyesight is damn near perfect. I said, you dirty dog. <laughs> You called her a dirty dog? A dirty dog. A well, dirty dog. We have fights constantly. Oh, you, you know? do, do you? Oh, and sometimes it bleeds over. Like we were driving in a car. We went past a bunch of animals. There was a pig, a cow. And I, I, I admit this is a little cruel. You were you kind know? of mad at her at the time. I was mad at her. So I said, hey, you see that pig, that cow, you know, horse? That remind you of any of your relatives? <laughs> she says, yeah, my in-laws. I said, you dirty dog. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> His wife was sharp. His wife was sharp every single time I, she saw you trying to attack her and she attacked you first. Yes, his wife is sharp, man. Blessed wives. All wives, y'all are amazing. I wouldn't be who I am right now if it weren't for mine. Yeah, 1000%. And I still get on her nerves like it was a day because that's that's something that you know made her fall in love with me, me getting on her nerves constantly and I would never stop. Wow, dirty dog again, wow. I tell you, until I met my wife, I always felt incomplete. Now I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say this. What is going on? No, I will say this. What is this going, what is going on? I will say this. This is a 1935 know. radio show. <laughs> Penny Youngman, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What's that you say there, Norm? Let me, let me see. Norm, what's that you say? <laughs> Tell us more, Norm. <laughs> We're going to take a break for Chester Seal Figurettes. <laughs> no, I got married three years ago, and I'm not lonely too much now anymore. And I got a good woman, I tell you. I got a woman who loves me for my money and my fame and not for what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face while he's thinking about the reality of it. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what did that be saying? He's going to look like he just now realized it himself. <laughs> I'll tell you, before I got married for years, I was just playing the field. Or to be more accurate, I was playing with myself in the field. <laughs> I know my wife is the easiest person to get along with, you know that. Yeah. Oh, my wife, you're kidding. Is, uh, 
I can tell you stories of my wife sometime. Yeah. Or else we'll have a few drinks sometime. I'll start talking. Really? When I drink, I talk, you know. I didn't... My wife's a cold person, Johnny. Cold. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, her side of the waterbed is frozen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tell you, I can't relax, you know? Now, the other night I was in a place I felt like having a few drinks. Someone over to the bartender, I said, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> Tell you the truth, and my wife and I, we never have sex. No. Now we get undressed, we can't stop laughing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing: when my wife does have sex, she screams. Ooh, especially when I walk in on her. Ooh. <laughs> I got no sex life. Uh, Ten years ago, my wife put me on hold. I mean, the last time I made love to my wife, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing was happening. I looked at her, I said, what's the matter? Can't you think of anyone either? <laughs> <laughs> now you can, I know my wife cheats on me. Every time I come home, the parrot says, quick, out the window, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my sex life is nothing. My wife cut me out to once a month. Cut me out to once a month. Oh, I'm lucky. Two guys I know she cut out completely. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you one thing, though, when I have sex with my wife, it's like magic. As soon as I get in bed, she disappears. <laughs> Oh, the other night she met me at the front door wearing a see-through negligee. The only trouble is she was coming home. <laughs> wow. Wow. He said the problem was she was coming home. She, he thought he was about to get lucky, but uh, she was just now getting there. <laughs> she had a good time already. She met me at the front door wearing a see-through negligee. The only trouble is she was coming home. <laughs> and smoking, that's another one. Yeah. Try to stop smoking. That's a beauty, huh? Well, with cigarettes, my wife and I, we made a deal, my wife and I. We only smoke after sex. I've got the same pack now since 1975. <laughs> What bothers me is my wife. She's up to three packs a day. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Every time I check this brother out, my dad going to face starts hurting, man. Oh, just be laughing my tail off because this dude is funny. Norm McDonald's funny too. He's funny too, man. But of course, you saw they showed more from Rodney Dangerfield because he's so quick with the jokes. Bow, 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 bow. Like, seriously, he's like that gun that everybody's trying to stop. The AR 15. Just bow, bow. Just. That was off color. I apologize. But y'all understand what I'm talking about. You, I'm sure you get the sentiment. I really enjoy both of them. But Rodney Dangerfield, this brother, man, he's, he's different. He's a he's a comedian's comedian. He's like um, your favorite comedian's favorite comedian. That's the type of comedy that he does. Like for real, for real. He's he's on point, man. All right, so that's my that's my side. Now it's your turn. I want to hear what you got to say about this in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all. Bye.